Okay. Um. Hello, and uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna say, but these. This is my uh, new sleeping arrangement um, since my father passed away. And um, uh, just doing a, a quick update. Um, along with uh, my father passing, uh, passing away. Um, I recently broke up with my girlfriend of, uh, eight months, after realizing that Brazil is really too far for me to carry a relationship, I'm not ready to go into that extra, um, I'm not willing to make that extra step of, uh, saving up money and learning another language, and I know it's, it's really selfish of me to just end it like that, but I can't, I can't help it. I, I feel I need to focus on me, um, because, I mean, Look at me. Look at look at what's happened. I mean, I lost my place at the shop, and uh, I'm now living with my extended family, and, and uh, I've I've gained a lot of weight. I've gained at least 30 pounds since this, and my my stomach has grown. Uh, grown out quite a ways, and, uh, it's made me ashamed. I, uh, I'm having a tough time trying to hold back tears because of all the things that have happened. Um, I really didn't want to end things with the girl that I was seeing at the time, but with everything happening the way it, it has, I, um, I feel like I was just causing problems because I was constantly feeling like shit just by talking. I don't think that talking to her was doing any good. And so I let her go. And she was so good to me. And I do, I, I feel like I was probably making a big mistake. But then again, it's better to have loved than lost than to never love a lot, love at all. But there also poses a question, did I ever did I ever love her, seeing as how I, I never saw her in person? The thing, the thing that I'm getting at is, do you think long-distance relationships matter, really? In, in my own opinion, I don't think it does. Because I've been through so many long distance relationships and they have fallen to pieces and it's uh it's just uh something that I've been thinking I'm recording in here so don't come in here um but yeah getting back on track here. Long distance relationships. Um, they never happened the way we always planned. 
most relationships of that nature are just a wet dream, in my opinion. You know, you have... You have a... A preconceived notion that, you know, the things that you plan are going to happen. And when they don't happen the way that you plan, it just brings more and more disappointment. And I guess that's where I get most of my bitterness from. Is all the long distance relationships, let's see, I've had at least seven long distance relationships out of the the ten women that I've been with. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's ten or or twelve. I kinda lost count, but seven relationships long distance anyway um the bitterness stems from failure either from the the women I chase after they cheat on me or I feel like I'm not getting any sort of feedback or the uh I don't know. Um, I'm get I'm not getting the the right. I'm I'm not getting the right kind of um, feedback, as you know you would you would you would want from from a normal relationship. You know, it uh, it, it feels like it's one sided. I guess that's that's what I'm trying to trying to say. Um, you know, you you put your heart and your soul into something, and you work so hard, and for it not to come to fruition, it hurts. It seriously, hurts. But, um, yeah, this, this is the life that I, I lead now. Since, uh, <laughs> since my, my father passing, um, my stepmom has been fighting tooth and nail to get what she wants, even though she was written out of the will. And she has turned, she has turned my my half sister against me <laughs> yeah i guess it's it's what she does to get her way and if she doesn't have her way then she try to turns everyone that is trying to do right against you know the people that care about the family and uh i think it's it's completely stupid. It's, it's, uh, I guess when you're, um, when you're so hard up for, if you're, if you're so desperate to get what you want, then you will, you will by any means destroy what you have to in order to get your way. And that's, that's the way my stepmom is. Um, She's not blood related, so she shouldn't get anything anyway. The only thing that she should get is what Sarah gets. And what Sarah will have, it will be when she's of legal age. Um, you know, she'll, she'll get money in a trust fund, and, um, <laughs> I know that, that my stepmom will do whatever she can to get that money, to use it however she pleases, 
what she did, which we, it might be a federal case, she used my father's credit cards and his debit cards. She took out $3,500 and used it in two weeks. And by his will, she owes me $1,500 because of that. And um, it's just stupid. It's completely stupid. But in closing... Uh, I just, I just needed to get some, uh, I need to let off some steam, I guess. So, those that care, you know, just, uh, leave me some comments. Um, um you know, just, uh, people on Tumblr, people on Twitter, uh, leave me, leave me messages if it's important. But, um... Yeah, this is a well, lot. Well, supposed to be a quick update, and um, um, I'm not going to edit this video. So, just to show that it's just raw emotion. But um, I apologize for it being a little long-winded and and eloquent. But um, yeah.